that sound take you into the stratosphere out beyond the final frontier of course big news at the moment Elon Musk um, and we've been tracking him a lot lately obviously um, doing a huge amount to push further the aims of human endeavor when it comes to our off-planet exploration and now a big plan is the from SpaceX obviously his organization called Starlink which aims to put thousands of satellites up into um, our atmosphere or beyond that at least uh, but there's been some kickback from the um, science community because many satellites up there are going to make it very difficult for astronomers to get the job done. Uh, I've oversimplified something that I would imagine is quite complex. We've got uh, astronomer at the University of Cape Town, Dr. Jacinta Del Hayes, back in studio. Uh, thanks so much for, for joining us. Um, Starlink. It's yeah. quite an exciting name. It it's sounds exciting. like something from a movie. Yeah. Um, something that we might need to be a little bit nervous about because this brings to bear kind of we are acting with impunity in space at the moment. We are putting a lot of, I don't want to call it space junk, but there is a lot of traffic above our planet. Yeah. What is Starlink, first of all? What is its aim? Well, Starlink is a, a satellite constellation. It's the first of its kind. Recently, um, SpaceX launched the first 60 of these. There's going to be 12,000 in total. And they're each the size of a, of a mini fridge, roughly. Um, and they're not the only company that's planning to do this. Amazon, Facebook, several other companies are planning to launch uh, satellite constellations. Now, um, the problem in astronomy is that uh, we take long exposures of the sky <laughs> to see the very faint stars and galaxies in the distance. And so you've got these satellites moving relatively quickly through that image, creating these huge stripes. And they have lights stripes. on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, what is the aim of Starlink? Is it a suit of armour around the world? Is it for communication, one would assume? What is the... Thing. Yeah, so it's for communications and to provide high quality internet anywhere in the world, it's even wifi. to it's free Wi-Fi, is what right? You're saying. Okay. Even to remote locations. But uh, yeah, the problem with this is that um, yes, yeah, so you can see that they'll be all over the place and and see some remote locations there. Are we all connected to one kind of logistics flight center that can track? What is going on? How are we going to get off planet if we have got tens of thousands of satellites blanketing our planet? Like, how do we track what's going on here? Is there a, an international watch agency that is kind of managing this? Yeah, so, so the International Astronomical Union is the international body of professional astronomers, and they've just issued a statement about this because they're quite concerned. Um, so their job is to protect astronomy and our night skies. Um, and in particular for South Africa, these satellites are going to be communicating with each other and with the ground with radio frequencies. But of course, South Africa has uh, some of the world's best radio telescopes right here, Meerkat, uh, SKA, and if these uh, satellites are emitting in this, this broad um, frequency, then we're blocking out a page of the universe that we can't see with these telescopes. Um, how do we weigh that up? Which, which do we need more in our current life cycle that we're humanity and technology? Do we need free Wi-Fi? Do we need to look beyond the planet? How are they going to manage us? Where do you think that battle line is going to be drawn? Yeah, well, I think the goal is to work together, right? If we can work with the developers and the policy makers to, um, to see what we mutually need, I think we can probably get there. Um, and if listeners want to hear more about this, they can tune into our podcast, The Cosmic Savannah. Uh, which, of course, I run with Daniel Connema. You all know Dr. Dan. <laughs> uh, we absolutely love him. We absolutely love you. Thank you for demystifying something that is quite crazy. It's just, I think for many of us, just the fact that we are at this point that we're about to launch thousands um, of satellites into our, our night sky. But maybe you want to weigh in. Maybe connectivity is more important. Maybe uh, pushing where humanity is going in terms of off-planet, our exploration and what that means for science, how much we are discovering along the way. Maybe that's more important. A balance has to be found between the two. Uh, Dr. Del Hayes, thank you so much. And um, we're going to put all of those, um, you know, the, the tidbits. CosmicSavannah.com is where you can find the Cosmic Savannah podcast as well. We'll put all of those details um, on our social media platform. Enjoy it. Enjoy Thank the you. debate yeah. as it rages on. You can let us know on our social media platforms how you feel.